Sleeves here. Day 11 of my AT 2.0 hike. Wow, it is probably just a little after 5.30, and man, I'm on my way today. I was in a race with the rain. I wanted to pack up before it started raining, and it's gonna rain, I think, most of the day. But what that means is I'm just gonna have a long walk in the rain today. I don't think there's anything, I don't have a big, huge goal to get to other than there's another ice cream and hot dog stand about six miles up the trail. And I would definitely stop there. Maybe I can get in out of the rain a little bit there because uh, I think it's about to start any second. I know we're gonna see some neat things and I'm gonna try to show you if I can through the rain and hope you stick with me. All right, we can do this. I'm glad it hadn't started raining yet. I made it up. Cool. I believe I slept very near that little knob right behind those trees last night. Very grateful that God has allowed the rain to hold off because I would probably be sliding down these rock outcrops. Man, I don't know, I must have gone over 20, 25 of them about like this. And man, if they were wet, woo, just thankful. The rain has set in in earnest. Neat view. It was pouring this morning, rain coming down. I was soaked and I made it to, I believe it's Highway 17A, New York. And I decided there's an ice cream store just right down the road here in a short distance. So I bet I could stand underneath the shelter and miss some of this rain. And that's what I did. The only problem is, as I sat there, that ice cream got to sound better and better to me. But they didn't open up until 12. Do you believe that? And what do you believe I did? <laughs> I couldn't miss the ice cream. So I sat there for a little while waiting on them to open and had some ice cream. Good stuff. Trail talk today. We are in New York. So that means walk through another state new jersey so here's some uh, lessons or some things i've learned about new jersey new jersey has plenty of delis and food sources along the way quite frequently you'll come to a road on the trail and just right there will be a store that you can get food pack your food accordingly. You'll be glad you did it. Number two, rocks. Well, couldn't go without talking about rocks again. New Jersey has rocks. But the way I would describe the difference between the Pennsylvania rocks and the New Jersey rocks is this. This is just the way I, under I can understand it. So in Pennsylvania, someone with a hand grinder took every rock on the trail, picked them up, and used that grinder to make a sharp point and then threw them back out onto the trail. New Jersey, someone took that same hand grinder, picked up all the rocks and rounded off all the edges and threw them back out on the trail. So that's the difference between Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Still rocks, but easier to walk on. Third, New Jersey 
was the first state I really picked up on that the ecosystem was changing a little bit. So the trail started being filled with conifers, which made it neat for walking because of the needles. I enjoyed walking uh, on those. But as you can tell, New York still has rocks too. Anyway, conifers, rocks, and delis. Good stuff. So that is trail talk. About to climb. It continues. Cool, this is what I was walking on. Now we gotta get down. Fitzgerald Falls. Cool. But this is the way I've gotta go. Here we are on top of the high point of Mombasa. And as always, I have the question, why? Well, I have been searching for a home tonight. Look at there, I just found it. Wrapping up day 11 of my AT 2.0 hike. Man, it was just a rainy day today. Pretty miserable. But uh, made some miles and got to see some sights along those rocky outcrops. Good time. Man, it was actually a good time hiking, even though it was wet and miserable. But hey, that's the way it is on the AT. Sure, I'm glad you stuck with me. Keep hiking. <laughs>